guys, thanks for watching my shred video on my Mab Gauntlet 4. If you enjoyed that, please subscribe. There'll be new ones coming out every week. So I've decided to take YouTube a bit more seriously. I don't know if any of you have seen me before, but I've had a load of other mess around channels. But this time, I'm being serious, and a new video will be out every week with a brand new guitar. Today's guitar is the Mab Gauntlet 4. Mab being for Michael Angelo Batio, the god of speed, um, the inventor of speed lives and speed kills. I think one of them's the song and one of them's the tutorial. Um, I get a bit confused. He's also the king of mullets. That's his bit there. I don't know if you can get that in focus. Boo! Okay, so let's get into the specs. So the guitar, standard maple neck, lime body. The fretboard is apparently Jatoba. I don't, I've never heard that term before. I don't know if that's the make or the wood. Um, I suppose, actually, yeah, looking at it, it definitely isn't rosewood. I hadn't even considered that before. So I've had this guitar for a while, and it's only now I've decided to look into the specs for you guys. It has a 43mm locking nut. So that's our nut width, and obviously we've got 24 frets, and they're block mother of pearl inlays. Like a lot of Dean guitars, the neck's quite thin, makes it quite easy to play fast. In fact, I feel like I could definitely play faster than I was playing along to that track on this. So other specs, we've got Grosvenor tuners, so really good at keeping in tune anyway, and then we've got the locking Floyd Rose floating tremolo system. Yep, standard Floyd Rose. Um, it's actually one of their cheaper ends, but I'll get to that later. The pickups are DMT design pickups. And the paintwork is the gauntlet. Look at those two snakes flying. How awesome does that look? Boo! Okay, so that's the specs, let's get to the pros and cons. So, pros, nice thing neck, easy to play fast. Apparently the radius of the neck is custom for Michael Batio, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know enough about that. Um, but yeah, it's nice and thin, so it's easy to play fast. That's a wicked pro. It stays in tune really well for the floating tremolo system, so the locks are definitely doing their job. It does sound pretty meaty, but I'm not going to keep that in a pro because I'll come to the cons in a minute. Um, and for a floating tremolo bridge guitar, it's actually quite lightweight. It's quite easy to throw around. Um, yeah, so they're the... Oh, and obviously it looks amazing. On to the cons then. So the, the bad side of this guitar, it is really cheap for a custom guitar. It's about £300, uh, English sterling, so not much at all. And whilst that shouldn't be a con by itself, it does mean they've cut corners on a few bits. The pickups could definitely be upgraded. These are not the best pickups. Um, I would definitely want to upgrade those to something more meaty. Uh, Bare Knuckle, Seymour Duncan, maybe EMG if I want to go active. I'm not sure, but yeah, they... They're good for some old genres, they give enough gain that they work, and they're, they're pretty good. I've used this in many situations, but I would definitely want to upgrade them. And the Floyd Rose, whilst it is an actual Floyd Rose, is definitely one of their cheaper ends. Um, the tremolo arm, when it's in, has got a massive rattle, which is why I don't actually keep it in that often. Uh, it's quite a loose fit, no matter how much I tighten in. Um, I've even tried using some plumber's tape and things to give it more grip. And it helps, but it doesn't fix it, so... That's a con. And then the last one is the jack input. Is it some really weird angle here? Now that's actually probably a pro if you play with a jack lead all the time. Because that angle means if you stay on the lead and pull it, you're less likely to pull the jack lead out. Although then you're more likely to damage it if you do do that. So, yeah, pro or con. But the biggest con for me is my wireless jack doesn't fit in there because of the size and angle. So, yeah, it does make access to the jack port a bit of a problem for some. Obviously, standard jack leads, it's good. So, that's a bit of a pro and a con. Because my wireless doesn't fit in, I've had to do my signature move as a post-playing thing. Um, woo! Spin! I love doing that, but, yeah, when I can't get... When I've got to have a jack lead in, I do that, and the jack lead's going to get all twisted around my arm, and I'm like, yeah, it's not going to work. So once again, there are some behind the scenes footage. Um, if I get enough comments saying that people want to see the behind the scenes, then I will definitely do a video with that. I'm not sure if I do one per video or if I take all that footage and merge it into one big behind the scenes clip. But yeah, if you are interested in that, comment below and I'll try and get one together. 
So, as usual, by now you should be aware of this, the backing track is available on the channel as a video by itself, so you can have a jam along yourself. It's in E minor at 120 BPM, so that track will be available to listen to now. If you liked me shredding over it and how that sounded, I put a bit more effort into this one, trying to write a bit more. It was half written, half improvised. Uh, I had like 10 points of notes on things I was going to follow. Um, so that track has been edited and is now available on Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, all of that. So wherever you stream or download music from, you can give it a listen there. So as you can see, I got a new t-shirt, the Guitar Ninja. I absolutely love these. These are now available on Amazon in the UK and in America. And by the time this goes live, they might even be available in Germany as well. Uh, if you want to grab one, if you want to have a look at the guitar, check out the backing tracks, all of that stuff, the links are in the description below. So thank you for watching and sticking around to the end through all of the descriptions, all of that madness. So thank you so much. Please give us a like. It really does help. And comment below anything you want. You can even insult me. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about this guitar. Um, tell me if you think that the snakes are in love or are they fighting? I can't quite tell what I think. Yeah, so comment below if they're fighting or together. Again, if you want a behind the scenes thing, just leave that in the comments as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And if you really want to support me with the extra mile, then I do have a Patreon page where you can deposit money that will go towards all this equipment and make these videos better. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.